guys, today I thought I'd talk to you about 10 things I could not live without at university. I thought this would be a useful video because obviously everybody's a little bit different, but these are 10 things you may not have thought about that you might need. Number one is a pretty obvious one, but I thought I'd put it in anyway because just in case you forgot. It sort of comes under the category of technology. Obviously you could not live or go through university without technology. But the main thing I couldn't live without is my laptop. I have an Apple MacBook Air 11 inch laptop, but at university you could just not live without a laptop. All your work needs to be done on a computer. So that is a massive thing you need. My second essential was a major thing during freshers that I needed and I still use even now. It is. Paracetamol and the Lemsip Max all-in-one drinks. I cannot tell you how many times these two have saved me from feeling rubbish and not making it into university. Obviously with paracetamol they're good for anything so if you're feeling a bit hungover after a night out you can just take paracetamol. If you're feeling sick, headaches, anything it's always good to have some paracetamol. So definitely pick some up before you go to university because you might not have a shop nearby and obviously with tra when you travel up and stuff you might get a bit stressed and get a headache. And Lemsip, if you're starting to feel a bit run down or get a cold, honestly, these are the biggest lifesaver ever. They're a bit, I think they're a little bit pricey, but I definitely think they're worth it. It's, especially if you're going up to university, you can just ask your parents to pick you up a box. The third essential I could not live without is a little bit of an odd one. It's a scrubber brush and they also come with refills for the scrubber. When you're living on your own, you have to do your own washing up. You don't have... A lot of halls and houses don't have dishwashers so yes washing up is a must but there is an easier way than filling up the sink squirting loads of fairy liquid which can be expensive if you're having to buy a new bottle every week this is your answer basically this you pour fairy liquid into this tube you only need a tiny bit of, and you wet the sponge and the when you scrub on a plate the fairy liquid comes out onto the sponge and it scrubs with it. It's honestly, it saves so much time and effort because when you fill the sink up with like dishes and stuff, you you have to take it all out to clean it to fill the sink up. But with this, you can just run the tap, scrub the plate, rinse it off and it's done. Like honestly, I'd swear by this. They sell this here at like Tesco's, I'm sure at Wilkinson's and like Sainsbury's. But I think the brand is called Dishmatic. Yeah, Dishmatic. I'll put the link in the description, but definitely pick these up and get some refills as well. Because obviously when you're scrubbing knives and stuff, the sponge can get a bit, like, the scratchy stuff can come off. But yes, these ha have saved so much time. Buy them. <laughs> I'm joking. This isn't sponsored, by the way. This is just things that I use every day. The fourth thing is a pretty common thing that everybody has, but you might forget to pack them. It is headphones. I have two different types. I've got the Apple headphones that come with your iPhone, which everybody has. Just these ones. So I use these when I'm like on the go and I need something just little just to shove in when I'm walking and stuff. But when I'm sat down chilling, I like to use the Urban Ear headphones. But these are just nice big headphones. They sit on your head really nicely and they look quite cute as well, I think. They have really nice colours. But I use these when I'm like chilling in bed or if there's like a lot of noise, say if my flatmates are going out or something and I want to block them out and listen to something, I use these because they have really, they can go like really loud and block other sounds out. And just quite nice because you feel like you're like away from everything. Number five, again, is another weird one. What can I say? I'm full of weird essentials. It is my giant water bottle. I don't even think I need to explain why this is an essential. I mean, look at it. It's amazing. I can't even tell you how many people have come up to me and said, Oh my God, your water bottle's so cool. And like asking where I've got it from. Everyone says it looks like them like drink dispensers. Like a little mini one that you like, you know, you know the ones. But yeah, this I bought from Amazon. It took a while to come. Actually, I didn't buy it. My boyfriend bought it for me. But this is from Amazon and it took a while to come, but it's definitely worth the wait. And they're quite they're quite cheap for what they are. They're like a really sturdy plastic water bottle. It holds two litres. So I think this is really good for like when you're at uni and you have long days. This is like my favourite thing 
ever. At university, you're going to be sharing with other people. So obviously in the evenings when you're walking around, you're gonna wanna wear something comfy. So one of my essentials is nice, comfy pajamas and slippers. Because the floors at university halls, if you're cleaning them, are probably not going to get cleaned very often. My favourite pyjamas that I've got at the moment are these little pug ones. My boyfriend's brother bought them for me but they're from Primark and they say pugs and kisses. But I just think they're really cute and then they've got these long pyjama bottoms with a pug on them and lots of little hearts. I thought I'd show you all my slippers that I've got because honestly you need them. So these are one of my favourite pairs, they're sort of like, I don't know what they're called, but one of the, my favourite pairs are these, nice and fluffy on the inside, they're just slip on ones, I think these are good for university, and then I've got my winter ones that my mum bought for me, they're little reindeers from, I think these are Sainsbury's ones, but they're nice when it's cold and you just want to like snuggle up, and then my current favourite pair, are these ones that I got for Christmas from George's grandparents. These ones are really cute. They're like sort of ballet pumps but they stay on your feet really nicely because they're elasticated on the inside which I find really hard to get. These ones are called snoozies if you've ever heard of them but I really like them because they stay on my feet nice. My seventh essential that I could not live without at university is an organiser. I love writing lists and making sure I know exactly what I've got to do. So this is my current organiser I'm using from Tesco's. It also helps remind you when you've got essays due in. I've got loads of, I've literally got four calendars around the house and I have a diary. Just when you're at university you'll realise like how much more organised you've got to be to get things done because not only have you got your own things to do like social life and then washing and cooking dinner you've also got like university work like it is a whole new sort of level but it is it's so much fun and I would never change going to university it's the best thing I've ever done my eighth essential is some sort of Netflix Amazon Prime video thing I can't even tell you how many evenings I've been like I'm not going out I want to sit in and watch a film or a TV series I definitely recommend anything of those lines obviously you can watch like online TV and stuff if you don't have a TV license but with Amazon Prime it's just like easy to like scroll and click and as a student you get six months free Amazon Prime which is so good and they have like loads of different things on there so definitely have a look I'll put the link to the student Amazon six months Prime because I know a lot of people don't know about it but I'll link it in the description my ninth essential is something that mainly applies to girls but boys might want it too if you've got long hair or you care about your hair a lot. It is dry shampoo. I tend to use the Batiste dry shampoo. I don't find that anything else really works for my hair. But this is a saving grace. Especially when you're feeling lazy. If you've been out on a, been on a night out and you wake up and you really can't be bothered to like have a shower, wash your hair, dry your hair. This is a lifesaver. Honestly, you want to be picking up cans and cans of this. Getting prepared because it's good stuff. <laughs> No, but honestly, it just makes your life so much easier. You don't have to worry about drying your hair and things. It also makes it look nice. I find when I use dry hair shampoo, I get a lot more volume and it's easier to style. And the last thing I couldn't live without at university is a little bit sad, but it's George. I could not live without George. He is everything to me. He helps me so much and he's built my, built my confidence like enough to make these videos. I remember talking about in bed like oh, I would love to make videos blah 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 and he supported me and he still does with all of that and he's just my best friend. We do everything together, we train together, we go to uni together and he's just, he's the best. He's so chilled out but yes he will probably laugh at me for saying this but I love him lots and I could not live without him even if he is very annoying sometimes and lazy. Yes, George, you are lazy. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Let me know in the comments what you could not live without at university or at school. And I will see you very soon. I'm going to be doing a full essentials kit out list for students because obviously you'll be worrying about bringing everything. So I'll let you know everything you need to bring to university. But yeah, I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.